unpopular opinions book tag. Ah! So I was tagged by a bunch of different people to do this tag. I would list them all, but I'm sure I'd leave someone out, so I'm not gonna list them all. I was just, I was tagged a lot. It's a pretty new one, and I'm kind of scared because I'm sure I'm gonna make a lot of people mad at this video based off of my unpopular opinions of some books. Let's get right into this. Question one. Popular book or series that you didn't like? Uh, Maggie Steve Otter is my favorite author. The Raven Boys or the Raven Cycle series um, is my favorite in the entire world next to, you know, Percy Jackson and Shatter Me. Maggie Steve Otter wrote this series, I believe, before she wrote the Raven Boys and it is Shiver. I only read the first book and half of the second book. I, okay, I was like almost more towards the not like not liking it so much. I, I, I was able to read um, the first book relatively quickly and I did enjoy it. I, I really did enjoy it because I, I mean I enjoyed the writing style because I love Maggie Steve Otter and just like the way she writes but as far as the plot and the story itself I didn't really like that much. Sorry I'm gonna have to choose this book for number one. Number two, question number two is a popular book or series that everyone else seems to hate but you love. All of these questions were very hard because I kind of Which my favorite series of all time, Shatter Me by Tahira Mafi. I mean, this isn't this isn't necessarily a hated book, but I know it's not super popular. I mean, a lot of people look at it as like one of those books where you, they either love the style of writing or they thought it was just over dramatic and just overdone, which I do. I completely disagree with. I absolutely loved it. Question number three is a love triangle where the main character ended up with a person that you did not want them to end up with. This one, I'm gonna have to go back to the very first love triangle that I read about that I just absolutely was like <laughs> spoiler alert if you have not read the Hunger Games Katniss and Peeta in the Hunger Games right, let's let's take this back when I first read the Hunger Games the first book I completely and totally shipped Katniss and Gail like my dream team they were just like yes I want you guys to be married and move into a house next to me because I love you so much stupid Peeta came along with his little niceness and his bread. Like, I love you Katniss and all this stuff. I am Team Peta now, but that didn't happen until the end of the second book. But as far as just the first book goes, the entire Hunger Games, I mean, I was like Team Gale for a good year. I switched over to Team Peta because he's just so dang attractive. Ugh. Question number four is a popular book genre that you hardly reach for. I think everyone who's watched my channel knows this, and that is contemporary books. This year, I have read a bunch of contemporary books, which is probably like nothing compared to some people, because, you know, again, I love fantasy, dystopian, sci-fi, paranormal. Like, I love the supernatural. That is my, that is my domain. I kind of did this thing where I bought a bunch of contemporary books a little while back because I thought, okay, well, maybe if I buy more contemporary books, I'll read more of them. I was, I was wrong. The start of me and you, Anna and the French Kiss, Geek Girl, all of these books, contemporary. Haven't read them. Number five is a popular or beloved character that you do not like. So again, this one was really hard. I don't necessarily not like them. It's more just I don't, I'm not absolutely in love with them. Say like I am with Warner in the Shatter Me series. Guys are gonna be so mad at me. Oh my god. Okay. The Infernal Devices series by Cassandra Clare, Clare. It's the prequel series to The Mortal Instruments. Will Herondale. I know there's a huge thing about Will, Will, Will Herondale. He's like the dream. The dream. He's the dream. Everyone seems to love him and they love Tessa and Jem and the whole dream team. But for me, like, I enjoyed the Infernal Devices, but I, I didn't absolutely, like, fall in love with it like I did with, say, Shatter Me or the Mortal Instruments. It was kind of just like I liked it. I didn't love it. Whenever people talk about the Infernal Devices, they're like, oh my god, Will Herondale! Well, that wasn't me when I was reading it! And I feel like, like, I don't really like, I mean, he was funny. Number six is a popular author that you just can't really get into. And for this one, I have two authors. And again, I'm so sorry for anybody who loves these authors. But I just really couldn't get into their books. And okay, well, okay, well, let me just talk about this for a second. Okay, 
Number one was Lainey Taylor, Smoke and Bone. I read this first book. I, I actually really did like the first book, but it took a lot for me to get, in to get into this world just because it was so different and it was just the characters really different and just kind of the whole plot and story was kind of weird for me. And uh, again, I love fantasy. Like anything that's super out there, I'm totally okay with. Usually like it takes a lot of weirdness for a book to kind of push me off of it just because I can, I can handle a lot of weirdness. Okay, I can handle it. Second book, I only got like 50 pages in because it just started getting so weird. <laughs> Second author, okay, I actually read this book back in July, but I didn't mention it. Um, that is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I expected something completely different going into this book. This is the first new adult book I've read. Usually I just read young adult. But oh my gosh, you guys, this is like <laughs> intense. Like, ugh, like warning, it's kind of like, mm. You know. I had a really hard time reading some of the parts in this book that were like very graphic, I'll say graphic, and I kind of just had to like skip over it. The plot itself was really good. I'm not sure if all Colleen Hoover books are of this sort of, um, you know. <laughs> Number seven is a popular book trope that you're tired of seeing, such as, I believe it says, like, lost princesses, corrupt rulers, um, love triangles. I love love triangles, okay? You can't. You can't, you can't hate on love triangles. A popular book trope that I'm kind of, that just bugs me and it's in a lot of books and I just, I can't really stand it and that's when we have a main character that's just like broken or she thinks she's broken and she just tells herself that over and over again. She's like, I'm broken, no one can love me. I'm just like this broken person. I don't want to love anyone else because I don't want to like rub my brokenness off on them or something and it just bugs me so much, especially when then they have like this guy come along and like fix her or whatever and then she's like, oh well since he loves me I guess I'm not broken anymore. The whole situation, I'm just like the feminist in me is just like, no, I can't. You can't let a guy convince you that you're worth it. You have to believe that you're worth it on your own. You can't. I, I just, that just really bugs me. So yeah, that one. Okay, number eight is a popular series that you have no interest in reading. Oh man, okay. I'm gonna have to say the Twilight Saga. I watched the movies and I somewhat read the first book, but not really. And I don't know if I'll ever read it because I just couldn't like, the movies kind of, I, I told you, I watched, I was pretty young when the movies came out. So I hadn't really been on like the Twilight bandwagon yet. And I don't know, I just don't really know if I can go back and read them, though I'm considering it just because I know, like, I was, I had the same kind of thoughts when it came to the Harry Potter series. I'm like, it's too late, I'm too old, I can't read it, but then I absolutely fell in love with the Harry Potter series. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna have to say the Twilight Saga, I don't know if I'll ever read it. I don't really have an interest in reading it right now, so yeah. Number nine is a book that you like the movie better than the book. And for this one, I'm gonna have to go with Paper Towns. I absolutely loved the way they made Margot in Paper Towns like a hundred times better than they made Margot in the book. It was just like, mm, I loved her so much more and the movie was so good. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. I tagged all of you out there who make videos or just have a blog or anything like that. Um, um, until next time, keep reading and bye!